Welcome to Nelson Mandela University's virtual acknowledgement of our top student achievers for 2021. This evening, we celebrate and recognize those achievers at all levels of the university. These awards are based on academic achievement alone. Excellence is one of the university's six values. It is core to achieving our vision of Nelson Mandela University as a dynamic African university, recognized for its leadership in generating cutting-edge knowledge for a sustainable future. And now, a message from the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Sibongile Mutwa. Dear colleagues, I warmly greet each one of you attending the event virtually in these most challenging and difficult times. I wish to acknowledge my colleagues, the Deputy Vice-Chancellors, Professor Cheryl Foxcroft, Dr. Tandim Gwebi, Professor Andre Kiet and Mr. Lebohang Hashadze, the Executive Deans of Faculty, the Dean of Students, our Senate, Executive and Senior Management, all academics and Mandela staff. We all join in celebrating not only the achievements of our students, but also the affirmation of our own work as teaching and support staff. My warm wishes are equally extended to our student recipients of awards who are being honored for their efforts and achievements today. It is time to celebrate your sweet success. Our current students, those who have completed their studies and those whom we hope will be inspired to join Nelson Mandela University. A special word of appreciation also goes to parents, significant others, special guests, friends and family, all of whom has contributed in some way to the successes that are being acknowledged this evening. As we know, success is really an individual effort and we want to acknowledge the many whose support have helped in bringing our students to this high point in their lives. You are all most welcome to what remains a very special awards event on our university calendar as we celebrate excellence, albeit at these challenging times brought about by the pandemic. Award ceremonies such as these are often characterized by words of wisdom and experience, aimed at affirming those who have walked the path on the one hand and inspiring those who are still walking it on the other. While the pandemic has changed the way in which we live and work, those factors and habits which eventuate in excellence remain the same. Success is often achieved one step at a time. Excellence requires sustained focus and commitment. Sustained excellence requires consistency and rising continually to meet the inevitable challenges that confront us. Success with excellence demands patience, tenacity, and dedication. Excellence is the ability to take a long-range view. It takes one's commitment to look to the future, understanding that today may not bring immediate success and gratification. In a way, success and excellence cannot be realized without capacity for discernment, ambition for sacrifice, imagination, and belief in a future that is better than the present. Former U.S. President Barack Obama said in one of his many valedictory addresses, and I quote, there is a moment in the life of every generation when that spirit of hopefulness has to come through if we are to make our mark in history, I close quote. For our awardees, I suggest that in this time of the pandemic and of great need in our country, you are that generation and this is that moment. It was Aristotle who said, and I quote, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Those words remain true today. Our award recipients have earned their accolades. They have been intentional in striving to do their best and to be the best in their field. And we could not be prouder of you. 
Nelson Mandela University's foundational values include our commitment to excellence, together with values of integrity, of Ubuntu, of respect for diversity, social justice and equality, and environmental stewardship. It is a proud moment for us that through your exceptional achievement, we have brought one of these values to life. So, thank you to our 2021 achievers and awardees for making excellence a habit. Your hard work, your sacrifices, your positive attitude and commitment to an end goal have borne fruit. While you have done us proud with your academic uh, achievement, we also know that you will be exemplary Nelson Mandela graduates, alumni and ambassadors, as you make your way in the world as caring, well-rounded, responsible, and civic-minded citizens. As I conclude, I also want to say thank you to all of our staff and students. I am deeply humbled by your sacrifices and the sacrifices of those who support you to have reached this stage in our academic year. Thank you for giving of your time, of your talents, and your hard work to make it all happen. Baya Tanki, thank you, and Kosi Giabong. We will now proceed with the presentation of recipients of the Undergraduate Awards. The best first year diploma and degree performances are made to students registered for their second year of study on the grounds of academic achievement in their first year. The recipient of the First Year Diploma Award goes to Dean Adams from the Faculty of Humanities for his performance in the Diploma in Music. Dean obtained distinctions in 18 of his 19 modules. For three of them, he scored 100%. One day he hopes to earn his keep by creating and participating in music. The recipient of the First Year Degree Award goes to Kayla Osmond from the Faculty of Health Sciences for her performance in the Bachelor of Health Sciences in Medical Laboratory Science. Kayla has achieved an overall average of 91%. After graduating, Kayla hopes to find work in one of the medical laboratory science disciplines, of which microbiology is her favorite. She wants her life to be of service to research, diagnosis, and the treatment of patients in need. The first diploma awards are awarded to a diplomat in each faculty who had the best initial diploma results. There are five diploma awards. The Faculty of Humanities first diploma award goes to Samuel Kleinboy for his performance in the diploma in music. With an average of 81%, Samuel hopes to one day lecture at Mandela University and teach music in his community. He believes there are no traffic jams when going the extra mile. And in these trying times, the best thing to do is to keep your eye on the prize and not let anything distract you. The Faculty of Business and Economic Sciences first diploma award goes to Hanley Lindfeld for her performance in the diploma in logistics. Hanley achieved an overall average of 89%, with 18 of her 19 modules for her logistics diploma being distinctions. Her personal mantra is to disregard self-imposed limitations and embrace the possibility of failure. Why? Because the greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. The Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology First Diploma Award goes to Jessica Skuman for her performance in the Diploma Information Technology Software Development. Jessica passed all her modules with distinctions and achieved an overall average of 91%. She hopes to advance in her career and become a very successful software developer. The Faculty of Health Sciences First Diploma Award goes to Sinazo James for her performance in the Diploma in Sport Management. Not only does Sinazo excel in sport, having played first team in various disciplines, she also achieved 100% for her sports management practice module. She achieved an overall average of 76%. The Faculty of Science First Diploma Award goes to Chanel Duplessis 
for her results in the Diploma Game Ranch Management. With an 86% overall average, Chanel hopes to help the wildlife industry grow and to share her knowledge with the people around her. Currently working in America, Chanel has taken the time to give people better insight into the world of conservation and South Africa's wildlife industry. She acknowledges that Nelson Mandela University made this possible. We now present the first degree awards that are awarded to the graduates in each of the seven faculties who had the best degree performance. The Faculty of Humanities first degree award goes to Lara Potchiter for her performance in the Bachelor of Music. Lara achieved an overall average of 88% and aspires to complete her master's degree next year. She also hopes to complete a postgraduate certificate in education specializing in both music and English. Lara's personal belief is that you owe it to yourself more than to anyone else to achieve as much as you are capable of. The Faculty of Business and Economic Sciences First Degree Award goes to Kristen Giddy for her performance in the Bachelor of Commerce Accounting Science, Computer Science and Information Systems. Kristen held an overall average of 85% for her degree in BCom Accounting Sciences. No matter what career direction she takes, Kristen wants to lead in a way that is kind and encouraging in uplifting others to better themselves. The Faculty of Education First Degree Award goes to Michelle Fucher for her performance in the Bachelor of Education Intermediate Phase Science and Mathematics. Michelle is currently working as a grade 6 and 7 teacher at Heatherbank Primary School in Kebeja. She achieved an overall average of 87%. She also has a BSc in Biochemistry and Physiology. The Faculty of Engineering, the Built Environment and Technology First Degree Award goes to Justin Tulikin for his performance in the Bachelor of Engineering in Mechatronics. With an overall average of 79%, Justin aspires to make a meaningful contribution to scientific research. Otherwise, he hopes for a stimulating career that will allow him to pursue his interests and hobbies freely. The Faculty of Health Sciences First Degree Award goes to Nicole Marshenko for her performance in the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Nicole, who was born in New Zealand, raised in the UK and is currently living in South Africa, achieved an overall average of 85%. She achieved a final year average of 91.5%. She is presently completing honors in psychology and running a pet sitting service. The Faculty of Law First Degree Award goes to Brandon Price for his performance in the Bachelor of Laws. Brandon achieved an overall average of 84% and is currently working as a candidate attorney at Bowman's Law Firm. His personal mantra is to live life to the fullest, appreciate every moment and never to take anything for granted. The Faculty of Science First Degree Award goes to Ludovin Parkinson for his performance in the Bachelor of Science Computer Science. Ludovin achieved an impressive 96% overall average for his BSc in Computer Science. Currently working for a software company in Pretoria, his current focus is on acquiring work experience as a software engineer. Ludovin hopes to complement this experience with a postgraduate degree in the near future. The remaining academic awards are recognized at institutional level. The Bachelor of Technology Awards are awarded to the best BTEC graduates in each of the two broad fields, namely Social Sciences and Humanities and Science, Engineering and Technology. They are sponsored by the Rupert Family Trust. The Best Bachelor of Technology Degree Award in the Social Sciences and Humanities category goes to Stefan van der Poel for his performance in the Advanced Diploma in Business Studies Management Practice. Stefan achieved an overall average of 84% and is currently in the final semester of his BCom Honours Business Management degree.
He believes that being successful at a particular endeavor is a conscious decision. People, through their actions, decide to be successful or choose to fail. The Best Bachelor of Technology Degree Award in the Science, Engineering and Technology category goes to Garcias Fenter for his performance in the Bachelor of Technology, Forestry. Tashis achieved an 80% average for his qualification. He is currently the Assistant Nursery and Research Manager at Merensky Timbers in Zanin. He hopes to leave a noticeable mark in the forestry industry, especially within tree breeding. Tashis believes your attitude determines your aptitude. The Honours Awards are presented to the best Honours graduates in each of the two broad fields. These awards are also sponsored by the Rupert Family Trust. The Institutional Award for the Best Honours Graduate in the Social Sciences and Humanities category goes to Kimberly Welsh for her performance in the Postgraduate Diploma in Financial Planning. Kimberly obtained an impressive overall average of 93% and is employed at her dream company, P.W. Harvey & Co as a paraplanner and client administrator. She wants to make a difference in the lives of South Africans in the financial context through education, particularly when it comes to the overall level of financial literacy in the country. The Institutional Award for the Best Honours Graduate in the Science, Engineering and Technology category goes to Luan Nodir for his performance in the Bachelor of Science Honours, Mathematics. With an outstanding overall average of 93%, Luan hopes to continue studying mathematics for a long time and to share his love for the subject with others. We will now proceed with the presentation of the Master's Awards. These awards are also awarded at an institutional level. The Institutional Award for the Best Master's Graduate by Coursework in the Social Sciences and Humanities category goes to Neil Pretorius for his performance in the Master of Arts in Clinical Psychology with his research titled A Psychobiographical Study of Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk was the first openly gay man elected to public office in the United States and a pivotal figure in the gay rights movement before being assassinated by a colleague in 1978. The current psychobiographical study offers a qualitative account of how he constructed and performed his identity within a particular cluster of social cultural contexts. This account focused on applying concepts of White and Epson's 1990 narrative therapy theory to biographical descriptions of Milk's life, resulting in a psychological understanding of who he was and how he came to be. Neil obtained an overall average of 82% and is excited about pursuing his career as a clinical psychologist in a variety of contexts, including private practice, institutional work, and academic research. He would also one day like to do his PhD, as well as other writing projects. This award is sponsored by the Rupert Family Trust. The Institutional Award for the Best Master's Graduate by Dissertation in the Social Sciences and Humanities category goes to Kundai Koti for her performance in the Master of Arts Development Studies with her research titled Microfinance's Efficiencies in Promoting Sustainability of Women-Owned SMMEs in Port Elizabeth, now Quebec. Microfinance refers to loans or government support given to prospective or SMME owners to assist them in running their businesses. Kundai's research analyzed the effectiveness of loans given to women-owned SMMEs in Quebec. It is also aimed to assess whether only monetary assistance is key in SMME sustainability or, if additional, non-financial assistance such as business training, mentoring and market analysis is also necessary for sustainability. Kundai achieved an overall average of 82% and is currently registered for a PhD in business management. Despite advancing herself in her field of research, which is centered on building sustainable strategies for South African SMMEs, Kundai also hopes to one day work for the United Nations in their Economic and Social Development Office. 
the Institutional Award for the Best Master's Graduate by Dissertation in the Science, Engineering and Technology category goes to Stephen Maltino for his performance in the Master of Science Botany with his research titled Contributions to the Systematics and Ecology of Tulista Raff. In case you are wondering, Tulista is a small genus in the same family as aloes. They are endemic to the Western Cape and naturally occur in areas that are now very intensively farmed. The remaining habitat is fragmented and shrinking with two of the four Tulista species now listed as endangered. Stephen achieved a remarkable 92% average overall and managed to publish a few papers during this time. He would like to write and publish further and do additional research in the field by working into botany full time. This award is sponsored by the Albert Vessels Trust. The Institutional Award for the Best Masters in Technology graduate by dissertation in the Science, Engineering and Technology category goes to Sidlin Hambry for her performance in the Master of Technology in Environmental Health with her research titled Cystosomiasis Knowledge, Attitudes and Practices Among Grade 4 to 7 Primary School Children and a Retrospective Prevalence in Guanobuse, Eastern Cape. Bilharzia, scientifically known as Cystosomiasis, is a serious and common problem in many developing countries, particularly in Africa. The debilitating effects of Bilharzia are a public health concern in South Africa, where contact with infested water bodies predisposes people to infection. There are clear indications that the disease has not been eradicated in Sidland's study area, Karicha. Sidland's study investigated the KAP on cystosomiasis of school children in grades 4 to 7 from four selected primary schools in the study area, as well as the prevalence of urinary cystosomiasis retrospectively in Guanabuche from 2014 to 2018. With an overall average of 83%, Sidlin is certainly living up to her motto in life, which is to never give up on your dreams and to always try your best in life. Sidlin is currently a lecturer within the Faculty of Health Sciences at Nelson Mandela University. Four Vice Chancellor's Awards for Academic Excellence are made annually in the following categories. Best First Diplomat, Best First Degree, Best Postgraduate Social Sciences and Humanities and Best Postgraduate Science, Engineering and Technology. The recipients are selected from the award winners from the past year. The recipient of the Best First Diplomat Vice Chancellor's Award goes to Jessica Skuman. The recipient of the Best First Degree Vice Chancellor's Award goes to Ludovin Parkinson. The recipient for the Best Postgraduate Vice Chancellor's Award in the category of Social Sciences and Humanities goes to Kimberly Welsh. Finally, the recipient for the Best Postgraduate Vice Chancellor's Award in the category of Science, Engineering and Technology goes to Luan Nodier. A big congratulations to all the recipients of the Vice Chancellor's Awards. The last two awards this evening are the Rupert Gesinstichting Awards. They are presented to the best full-time doctoral students registered for the current year at Nelson Mandela University in the two disciplinary categories. It is based on the merit of the candidates' full academic records and the candidates obtaining their master's qualification Cum laude. The recipient of the Rupert Gesinstichting Award in the Social Sciences and Humanities category goes to Priscilla Moyo from the Faculty of Law. Priscilla is currently studying towards her LLM in Public Law Research with a thesis titled The Ability to Access Healthcare Services is the Socioeconomic Right of Every South African. Priscilla's research explores this important right by assessing the relationship between access to healthcare services as entrenched in Section 27 of the Constitution 
and the general limitation clause contained in Section 36. Priscilla's research focuses on the jurisprudence of the Constitutional Court relating to the right to access healthcare services and the general limitations clause. She aspires to one day be one of the world's most prominent human rights lawyers. The recipient of the Rupert Gesinstichting Award in the Science, Engineering and Technology category goes to Justin Impey from the Faculty of Health Sciences. Justin is currently pursuing his PhD at Nelson Mandela University in Sports Sciences with his research titled Effects of Two High Intensity Interval Training Programs and Post-Activation Performance Enhancement on Selected Physiological and Biomechanical Outcomes in Male Team Sport Athletes. The aim of the research is to understand the mechanisms that separate sustainable from non-sustainable exercise and to use such information at the individual level to enhance performance regardless of sport or ability. Justin strives to bring positive energy into every room he enters and one by one to have a positive impact on every person that comes across his path. Big congratulations to all our student achievers this evening. You should all feel very proud. Well done. Thank you to all our viewers. Keep safe and good night.